Welcome friends to my channel Trading Sensation. I hope you all are doing well. Yes friend, this coming week is going to be a blockbuster week because we will have a budget session on Monday. And then again, we will have bi-monthly policy probably on uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Clear? So uh, this week is very important from the perspective of your positions, from the perspective of your portfolio. In the meantime, I want to show you one strategy which you can obviously test at your end and execute uh, from the budget day. Clear? So please watch it till the end and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well. So I have uh, noted few historical dates when a budget was placed in the parliament. That is in the first column you can see that in 2012-13, uh, 16th March 2012 was the day when uh, budget was placed. In 2013-14 it was 28th February. In 2014-15 it was 17th Feb. That is interim budget and the final budget was placed on 10th July because it was a election year. And then again you can see all the years are mentioned here and all the dates are mentioned here. Now let's get back to the chart of Nifty. So uh, I want to show you only the five uh, historical scenarios i don't want to go beyond that if you want you can study at your end and if you have any query you can definitely put it in the comment section in the meantime i would just tell you one thing that is my friend if, if you have not yet watched my video of uh, earlier uh, videos on nifty uh, then you should watch once again because you know over there i told that this 14780 should be the high and uh, you know nifty spot made a high of around 14.753 don't believe my word just get back and watch my earlier videos where i mentioned about this 14.780 should be the high of nifty now let's uh, get back to the sessions uh, of these uh, historical dates so uh, friend let's start with this 2016-17 uh, budget day clear so uh, in 2016-17 you can see that uh, the budget day was uh, on 29th Feb and uh, this red color is basically representing the budget day and orange color is representing the next one month clear so this is 29th Feb and this orange color is representing uh, 31st March so friend uh, now let me just zoom in a bit I hope uh, you are clear about the coloring of this vertical lines and what it is representing so friend uh, you can see that 29th fave and this is 31st march so after the budget got placed in the parliament you see that there has been uh, a unidirectional price movement straight away it moved from around this uh, 7000 to around this level of uh, 7720 7750 so you can just calculate the percentage uh, return uh, at your end now uh, let's focus on uh, this 2017-18 uh, budget that is again a unidirectional movement you can see now let's focus on the next one that is uh, 2018 2019 you can see that here the budget day was first uh, fave and then again i have uh, put the orange color on 1st March so it's a month you can see so then here also we can see a unidirectional movement from this level of around this 11,050 to around this level of 10,500 so it's almost 500 points 550 points now let's focus on 1920 now in 1920 you can see that in intra month actually it went higher again came down and closed at the same level so on monthly candle you will find it uh, as a consolidation uh, or as a doji you can say but then again in intra candle of a month you will find that uh, it gave a good movement on either side now uh, let's uh, focus on the last one that is uh, this 2020 so in 2020 also you can see that it went higher and closed at the same level when uh, since uh, the budget day now uh, friend uh, presently nifty is uh, hovering at a very uh, important uh, zone now let me just squeeze in a bit so that it gets uh, visually clear to you so i have just extended this line this uh, support zone and you see that nifty is presently hovering exactly at this particular uh, line clear 
now uh, i would suggest that if you just uh, do one thing that is a long straddle i'm not going into different option jargons or uh, some complex strategies just a plain simple one a uh, long straddle yes friend and it should be monthly not uh, weekly so let's go to uh, nifty option chain here you can see that i have uh, put the expiry date as 25th uh, february 2021 and this is the option chain for nifty now let's uh, go to uh, atm you can see atm is presently that is uh, 13700 let's consider 13700 call is uh, priced at 371 and for put it's uh, 371.4 so it's uh, same price for both call and put so uh, if someone goes for this uh, particular strike then uh, the investment would be 740 correct so uh, if you just do uh, some kind of historical study at your end for the last uh, 8 to 10 years you will find that a long straddle since the budget day keeping the, that particular position for at least uh, next uh, one month or maybe for that particular month with monthly options the trade becomes profitable then again if one wants to earn the maximum then suppose say for example if you go with this particular trade and if it goes on the higher side then obviously you should cut off your put side if it comes on the down side you should cut off your call side then you will see the maximum uh, profit uh, at your end clear so please do this particular homework uh, before the budget starts and you should execute this particular position at around 325 or 350 or it's best if you just trade around uh, 329 on monday clear i hope uh, this particular video will uh, add some value to you please do share it with everyone and don't forget to hit the subscribe button thanks for watching goodbye